Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at another travel trailer never before been seen on the show. So I'm excited to get my first impression and your first impression. This is a 2022 Radiance Model 27DD. We are gonna take a look at some of the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Radiance and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to be taking our first look at the Radiance with each other. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will. Hey guys. We are crammed packed we are here in san antonio what yes. the heck's going on yeah this is our last unit here in san antonio for today um and like matt said we've never seen this i didn't even go on the inside so we're excited to see what it looks like and thank goodness i climbed the roof well because look look at the way the trailers are stacked in here yeah i would have never even found this unit right if i didn't climb up on the roof of that fifth wheel right. over there yep so i'm super excited well let's begin all right model is 27 dd Radiance. The actual tip tip length is 31 feet 11 inches. The dry weight is 6,396 pounds. And the hitch weight is heavy, boys. Is it? 972 pounds. Wow. Right up front here, Will, we do have a nice power tongue jack. Okay. Okay. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go there. Right there, sitting on the hitch uh, or the frame, is a D ring. It's a great place to leash up your animals. And then right here, Will, this is a molded fiberglass front cap. Also painted, it looks good. Got the R for Radiance. Got the LED lights here and your diamond plate rock guard there. Very nice. Coming on down the side here, we do got past your storage. Okay, interesting. What is that? I don't know what that is. What the heck is that, Will? Oh, storage. Oh, storage that you'll never be able to access or get <laughs> to. I love that. Hold on a second. Ah, good job, Will. I was about to say, well, that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen, but right. it's on a slide out. Right. But I promise you guys, people will jack up their fingers if that falls on right. them. Right. Like, listen. And that was a controlled drop. Still not a great idea. <laughs> we do have electric stabilizing jacks. Okay. And this is a nice slam latch door. The one key alike system, which is nice. Also, they do use Asdell, which you guys know we love. Asdell is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. That's right. Which is awesome. Coming on down the side here, we do have the nice more right step above steps. And how do they get them out if there's a slide out here? They won't be able to get them back in without closing that one. All right. Oh, um, I bet that's what it was. Yeah. Coming on down the side here, we do got a nice grab handle. Three year structural warranty in the climate defense package, which means it has a heated and closed underbelly with heating pads on the tank. Coming on down the side here, oh. we do got potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Watch your step there, brother. Okay. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Trailer Kings. I love those. These are the ST225 75R15. We do have TV on the outside, black tank flush, and another door entryway. This one doesn't have the solid steps, but it does have the old classic black fold up steps. Yes. And then right over here, Will, there's another place to leash up your animals. Okay. So you can have them on the front of the camper or the back of the camper. That's right. Coming on down the side here, oh dang, Nabbit, well, no ladder to get up on the roof. Womp womp. We do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. Mm. Right here, 50 amp unit. That means there is two AC units on the roof. Or at least it's prepped for the second yeah. one. Right here, we do have a nice little uh, thing if you want to have a little squirt station right there. City water connection, satellite, and cable hookup and everything. And then right here is your water heater. Okay. Oh, man. Well, I don't oh, know. Oh, jeez. What the heck's going on here? Storage. Oh, bro. Dude, for real. Does I was about to say. Mad? No, no, no. That's cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought this was an outside kitchen. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, the review's over. Right. Like, we're done. Cut. You know? <laughs> this is cool, though. Yeah, no, that's good storage. Very nice storage. Yes, sir. Okay, good. I'm surprised more manufacturers aren't doing it like that. Right. And then right there, that's where you're dumping your tanks. And then, Will. I don't think I'm going to be able to squeeze through. You ready? That. Look, look. <laughs> you ready? 
Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it a try. I got it. Think thin. You got it, Dad. Come on, Dad. Something's hit my back. There we go. <laughs> nice. Hey, man. They got great inventory here. They do. And then finishing up. The other side of that storage. Cool. Well, well, the outside of the gradients looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. All right. Check out the inside, sir. Okay. Well, what do you want for dinner? I don't know. Do you want to go to a Roadhouse or Whataburger? Not Whataburger. All right. Well, I don't the lights on in here. I'll get the lights on. Okay. Nice bedroom up front here. Yes, sir. Here's your living area, dining area, kitchen, all that here. And then in the back is the bathroom and the double over doubles. Where are we starting today? We're going to start, you know, we'll start up here. Okay. It is confirmed two AC units. Good. Furions. And speaking of Furion, they're owned by Lipper. So let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, Lipper. Okay. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lipper. Did you guys know Lipper does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I want to show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back. You can relax it. You can... You, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. We're back. <laughs> Let's check out this bedroom. Well, very, very dark in here. It is. Look at what they're doing though with the king size bed. Okay, I like that. Yes, right over there. That's where our TV sets up. Okay. Right over here. storage yep will freak me out telling me not to climb on the bed because there could be scorpions storage there i was messing with you more than anything yeah, i don't know man i've heard it but i don't know i've never seen it will said like you've guys seen the frogs in our videos before. yeah will said it's like that in texas but for scorpions i didn't say that bad yeah and when we lived in i lived in texas for 12 years we saw a scorpion in the house once mm. So that was it. Well, I don't want it here in the travel trailer. But, yeah. well, here's what I do want. A king-size bed. Yes. Isn't this awesome? It now, is. it's a little unique because it's hugging up against the side that way. Right. But for the people that need a king-size bed, it is totally worth it and awesome. There's people like me who want a king-size bed and people like Will that need a yes. king-size bed. You know what I'm saying? Is there storage under it? Looked like there was. Okay, nope. no, but then there's something under there, isn't there? Just like oh yes, yeah, slide, slide storage. It in okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Coming on in here into the living room. Yes. Right here's our TV entertainment center. I like the way the cabinets look. Yeah, I do like that. You know, I don't know if Andre would like them, but I think they're okay. It does come with the TV right here, sound system. TV's in a horrible spot, but at least it does swivel. Yeah. Okay. Got storage there. And then over here, we got nice storage there and storage here. Cool. Yes, sir. And then over here is the living room area. Okay? Yes. Four windows all the way around. Nice, comfortable sofa. Trifold sofa. It does right. come all the way out. And again, well, I'm not going to lie. It's not a great TV watching position. But, you know, you do have to turn your head a little bit. But it's okay because it is what it is. Yeah. Nice lights all the way around. We do got privacy blinds, not daytime blinds, okay? And then over there, in the dinette, there is a USB right there. Oh, right there, yeah. Yep. Cool. Also, the dinette right here. Very nice dinette. It does drop down to make a bed, okay? And it's comfortable. Big boy tested, big boy approved. Good. And then right underneath here, we do got some storage. How do you like it? 
Very nice. Yep. Some storage right there, if you don't mind getting that. Of course. There you go. Thanks. And then, Will, would you mind showing us the kitchen? Of course. Before I do, I want to give a quick reminder. We are now partnered with RV Retailer, which is a nationwide network of dealers um, across the country, just like Explore USA. Um, so if you're looking to purchase this unit or any unit, make sure to go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Click one of the three tabs, and Matt and I will personally oversee everything to make sure you get an awesome price. Oh. Um, great service. Yes. And the best buying experience in the industry. And then look at the, well, I could have said yeah. it better myself, but look at this nice radius roof. It's great, yeah. Perfect. Show us this kitchen. All right. So over here, plenty of storage up top there. Yes, sir. Nice one down your campsite with the back backsplash. What are they doing I'm there? I'm not crazy about that at it's all. It's orange, though. You Well, you know my I favorite know you color do like orange. orange. But yes, no, Andrea would not be for rolling with that for sure. Yep. Nice solid surface countertops. Okay. Um, single bowl sink, I believe. Yeah. Nice big single bowl sink with a little insert. Got some a spot for sponges and everything. Storage yes. underneath. Yes. And a couple drawers here. Very nice, Will. Up top here, we got a Greystone microwave. Okay. Greystone range hood. Yes, hood range. And a, is this Greystone? No, Furion. Furion um, oven, stove and oven with blue lights. Yes. Right there. And then we have the Everchill compressor fridge. So this is electric, works off at 12 volts. And it does not take forever to chill. It does not. And look at that, pantry. Mm. Pantry, that's awesome. In, a, in something this size. Man, killing bunks. it. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Speaking of bunks, Will, we got bunks over here. Right there. Maximum weight, 275 pounds for this top bunk. Maybe for the bottom bunk as well. Yeah. Storage underneath there. Remember there was storage on the outside? Correct. Very nice, good size. There's a little light in here. Okay. You got the window right here. Is there a window above us as well? There is, yeah. Okay, good. You know, good size bunk. I mean, it is what it is with these doubles. I like them, um, you know, let's say on Andre and I owned one of these. I'd be sleeping back here with you now. <laughs> this be the doghouse. Speaking of doghouse, Will, take a step in that shower. Okay. I don't know. It might be okay. Let's see. It's actually really good. That height. This is the funny part. Imagine the shower curtain. That's very. <laughs> like, you know, that's very in, weird. The water would make. Well, a mess. I mean, I mean, it passes our clarifications, but I don't know. I mean, your head's. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What, did, what do we do? We've never had this situation. I don't know. I feel like we should still pass it. Do it. All right. Bing. That's a shower test seal of approval, y'all. I don't know what they did. It's kind of weird there. It is. Right over here, Will. We got mirror, medicine cabinet, little sink. And then here's something that isn't going to be a, a clerical error. Plastic toilet, womp, womp. Mm -mm -mm. It's crazy mm -mm. as it was in a good position. It they done messed it up. So this is not a prime pooping position. Okay. Well, well, people are dying to know what the MSRP is and we will let everybody know in just a few moments. But first, it's time we give everybody three things we love about it and three things we don't like about it and will. What do we do first? Three things we love? Yeah. Okay. Okay. First things first, Will. I'm gonna go in here. Yeah. You're going where I was thinking too. King size bed? Yeah. King size bed, well, knocking it out of the park. Travel trailers like this, you don't normally get king size beds. I know it's a little weird with the placement, but they did a good job. Um, and I like the king size bed. Yep. That's number one. Okay. Well, number two, the storage under the bunk bed. Oh yeah, good and one. And that storage from outside to under the bunk bed. Yes. Really smart, really good concept there. And I think they did a fantastic job. That was number two. Do you have a number three? Um, for number three, again, and, and we just did this yesterday or two days ago, but I'm gonna go with the colors yep, on the inside 100%. here. percent. I was gonna do that if you didn't. Yeah, I mean, and again, it may not be my number one pick, but they branched out here. They did something unique. They did something nobody else is doing. Yeah. So like everybody, like the farmhouse looks better. Yeah. But everybody's doing the farmhouse. Right, Give me right. something that nobody else is doing. Yeah, set it apart a little bit. I so. love that. Cool. Great. Well, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. I will go first. Okay. 
TV placement. Yeah. Womp womp. I hate this. I hate this setup. I like it when the sofa's over there and the dinette's up here. Yeah. So that way, the TV's directly across from the entertainment center. That's right. That's number one. Will, do you have a dislike number two? Yeah. I'm going to contradict the like a little bit. Yes, I was hoping you would do that. Okay. See, something weird happens here because there's a little thing. Maybe the whole bed slides. The it, whole it might. bed platform, I don't know. But the, um, yeah, I mean, I like this idea, but there's no, you know, it's you're going to have to crawl over yep. to get to the other side. Yep. You know, there's just no, no nowhere to, you know, no little nightstand, nowhere to put a water or anything. It's so. kind of, it's definitely unique, Will. It is. But again, I mean, it's, it's pros what? Pros and cons. Pros and know? cons. That's number two, and then Will, number three is outside. Okay. We like the solid steps, we need the solid steps. This yeah. one gives you the solid steps. We don't need double solid steps, okay? Right. But don't give me the crap black cheap ones. I agree. Give me the aluminum fold-up steps, yes. which is just so much better. I mean, look at that. They don't even look good. Yeah. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. Last MSRP of the day. That's all right. MSRP is $47,075. Will, MSRP. Sale price. We all know we can get you a lot better sale price on this unit if you're interested in it. Um, all you guys got to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com because we are now partnered with RVR, which is a nationwide network of RV dealerships. So it doesn't matter where you live. We will help find you the closest radiance to you, and we will get you a phenomenal price. You might have to travel. You might not have to travel. Reach out to us if you're interested in this unit, and we will take phenomenal care of you. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course. Yeah, guys, again, I, I think that um, the Radiance made a good first impression for yep, us. Yep, for sure. Um, make sure to let us know down in the comments below. Let us know the three things you like and the three things you dislike. Yep. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching, and Will, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.